What's up, y'all? I'm Tina's, and welcome back to another YouTube video. And this video is going to be a story time on my first time receiving head. And I'm going to tell this story because this was not too long ago. It was back in July. And that was my first time ever doing some. Like, getting some. For real. Because, like, okay, period. So, it was the 5th of July, right? Why do I keep saying the 5th of July? There would be fireworks on the 4th and the 3rd. So, you know me, I got dressed up and went to go kick it with my friends. I was with my little sister, my friend T, and my old friend named Jay. So, you know, we riding around. We head to the liquor store. We get our bottle because we've been a pregame. We outside taking flicks, flicking up because we looked good. Then we go to where the location was at. So, we in the car just pregaming just a little bit because we finna walk around with the bottle. So we walking down the street with the bottle. We finna go to the low. And hella people is like running. They running away from the fireworks. And we, we kind of scoping around because there be a lot of fights going on. There be shootings going on down there. So we trying to like still be safe. Mind you, I'm with my little sister. So like I'm keeping an eye on her. Trying to make sure that we cool. We get to the place. It's still people like just running. They popping their own set of fireworks and they running. But we over here thinking that they like run away from gunshots or something. So we kind of like stepping back too. So after we saw that they was cool and they just running away from their own fireworks, we started walking closer to the event. You know, I'm saying hi to people. We saying hi to people, introducing my sister to everybody because she, she an incoming freshman and she a stud. So, you know, she get her own little set of females or whatever. And we just walking. We all passing the bottle around. We just getting lit, getting lit, getting lit. So, you know, I was cool. I was feeling it. I was like, okay, I'm outside. I'm outside. And then, mind you, a whole crowd of people start running. And you know, when black people start running, everybody going to start running. Like, I'm doing the dash. Like, I'm grabbing. I grabbed my sister literally by her arm and literally pulled her in front of me because, like, I'm trying to make sure she good. Everybody is running. I literally dropped so much stuff out of my pockets. I was so mad to find out that they were just running for no reason. I'm over here thinking we're running for our lives. No, they was just doing it for no reason. So we get to these set of stairs. We missed the fireworks show. And then that's when my friend T just started falling and slumping over. I'm like, oh my goodness, her drunk ass. Like she was so lit y'all. She couldn't even stand. And we trying to sober her up cause that's our designated driver. We trying to sober her up like, bro, come on, bro. Like, we trying to pull her. We got two people on the side trying to walk back to the car. We trying to walk back to the car because at this point, we finna leave. And she like, I'm good. Y'all get off me. She calling hella people and they moms. And we just like, uh-uh, we do not got time for this. You need to get it together because you was our designated driver. <laughs> and then that's when, I think that's when a fight broke out. I told y'all, it's always some shit going on. So a whole fight broke out. And at this point, we is running because either somebody got tased or somebody got shot. And I just hear my sister screaming because that was one of her friends that either got tased or something. And I'm like, nah, come on. And we just trying to get everybody together and we trying to go back to the car. So I think that's when my friend sobered up and like was in her right state of mind. I was like, yeah, we got to get out of here because there's too much going on. Like it was so packed down there. It was just very packed. So me, T, and Jay, my little sister, we all got in the car. My friend Jay didn't even want to ride in the car because she was like, T, you too drunk. I don't want to ride with you. You too drunk. And my friend T was like, bro, I'm cool. Like, you doing too much. Just get in the car. We got to go. They was going back and forth for a little bit. My friend Jay had an attitude in the back. But after that, after we pulled off, it was cool. I was still kind of on edge. I was still kind of blue about missing the fireworks. And because, like, it was a lot going on. I don't really like crowds like that. My type of vibe is, like, you know, being in the house, kicking in with my friends. I don't really, li I don't really like being outside for real. But I'm going to do it anyway because, like, we're young. Whatever. It's cool. But I, I was still kind of on edge. And at this point, we still drinking. Not we, because I didn't really want to drink no more. Because I was already kind of blue. I just wanted to hit the, hit the gas. My friend Jay was like, here, drink some. And I was like, no, I'm cool. She was like, I'll do shot for shot with you. I was like, fine. When we drop my little sister off, then I'll drink some more. 
I was like, no, nah, you drop my sister off, I'll drink. They was like, no, nah, like, we, you good, you should, you can hit it, like, we're fine, we're safe, we're cool. So I was like, okay, so I started drinking. I was drinking, I was drinking, and then Jay was, like, pressing me. She was like, go shop or shot with me. But mind y'all, I do not like drinking, I'm a smoker. Alcohol is so nasty to me, that wasn't really appealing. I'm a smoker, not a drinker. So... We all passing the bottle. I was like, uh, oh, it's gross. I don't, I'm cool. I'm passing the bottle back. And then she was like, Jay was kept pressing me. It was like, go shop or shot with me. I was like, well, my sister get out the car. I'll, I'll drink a little bit more. So I was starting to feel it. I was starting to feel a little drunk, you know. And then we dropped my sister off. And then we still riding around. We still trying to see what the move is. And that's when I started drinking some more. I started drinking, drinking, drinking. And it started tasting like water. And y'all know exactly what that means. I was like, yep, I got to stop. Because it's going straight to my coochie. Like, literally. Alcohol be going straight to my coochie. I be trying to fuck some. <laughs> like, simple. We stopped at Walmart. Nah, before we stopped at Walmart, I was like, yeah, I can't drink no more. Y'all starting to taste like water. Y'all know what that means. And then I started giggling and saying how it was going to my coochie. So a little backstory. Jay was my first girlfriend ever. We was dating in eighth grade. But after a couple years of all of that, we just decided to be cool. Like, we, we was just cool. So that's who Jay is, y'all. We stop at Walmart because at this point, I got to go to the bathroom. Jay got to go to the bathroom. So we get out. We go to the bathroom, get done doing what we got to do. And then we just started giggling in the mirror. Because I looked at her and we started laughing. And we got back in the car. We getting food and whatnot. We stopped at Taco Bell. And then at this point, we finna take Jay to her girlfriend house. And mind you, her girlfriend lived right by me. And I didn't even know that. So we was waiting for her girlfriend in her driveway. And then it's like, Jay was telling me to come in the back seat. And I was like, why? I was just like drunk as hell in the front seat, just swinging back and forth in my own little world. Like, why? Why you want me to go back there? So my friend T has said some. I think she said, if y'all finna do something, just get it over with. But I don't really remember what was said. I just remember Jay pulling me from the front seat all the way to the back. And like, so I'm like kind of like laying in her lap a little bit, like lay on the door. And she like, I'm just like in her lap. And she trying to kiss me. And I'm like, moving my head like, nah, you got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend. And we started looking at each other. Like, she was looking at me. I was looking at her. She was looking at me. I was like, what if this was a movie? But then I thought to myself, what if this was a movie? And we started kissing. We started kissing. And then we stopped because her girlfriend had pulled up, like, in the driveway. So we stopped. And she had got out the car. And then I'm just up and I got back in the front seat and I'm just sitting here confused. I told T, I was like, gee, we just kissed. We really just kissed and I don't know how to feel about that. Because even T, you know, like we used to go together back in middle school. Didn't work out, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it was kind of, I want to say it was weird, but it's like, you, you kissed me, bro. Like you, is you cool? So T dropped me off at home. I, I go in my room. I'm laying down. I'm thinking about going back outside because the night is still young. It's like 12, 1 o'clock. I'm laying on my bed just floating. Y'all know the drunk feeling where you just feel like you're on a water bed. My friend had texted me and that who I saw at the firework thing. They was like, hey, you coming back outside? I got more alcohol, this, that, and that. I was like, yes, yeah, slip. But mind you, Jay started texting me. Well, I texted Jay and I was like, Why'd you do that? Like, why'd you do that to me? Like, why'd you kiss me for it? And Shorty was like, you don't know how long I've been waiting to do that. What? What do you mean? I was like, wait, what you mean? Like, you got a whole girl. Drunk me talking. I'm like, why you do that? You should just come over. Let's talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. So I just come over. She was like, okay, I'm finna come over. Give me a sec. So Shorty had came over from her girlfriend's house. Like, her girlfriend lives really close. I'm not even gonna hold. Like, five-minute walk type shit. So, she she come, and then I open the door for her. We go down in the basement, where I'm at right now. We in the basement, and then we just immediately start kissing, y'all. We just start kissing. 
we ain't even talk. There was no, nothing to even talk about because I already knew what type of time that everybody was on. So we was kissing, kissing, kissing. And then she like took my clothes off. And then she had started taking my clothes off. It started rubbing on my coochie. And you know, I'm just moaning and shit. She just started eating me out and it, it felt so good, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, it felt, it felt really great. I don't know if it's because I was drunk and was feeling everything, but it just felt so good. It just felt so good. <laughs> it just felt so good. And then she started fingering me, but then I got scared. I got nervous because, like, I don't know. Are y'all the type of drunk to, like, start crying when y'all drunk? Because at that point, I started crying. I started crying, and then she, was, she stopped and she was like, what's wrong? I was like, because you were my first girlfriend. And you want to do stuff with me now. Why now? And you have a whole girlfriend. Like, what was the point of doing all of this? And she was telling me to shit and, like, that's okay. She loved me. And, like, basically giving me reassurance. Tell me it's okay. So I kept letting her. I, I told her keep going, basically. I was, like, still kind of sad while it was happening. But, you know, she, like, started kissing me some more. And then she started eating me again and started fingering me while she was eating me. But then, like, I was, like, moving her hand because, like, I didn't really, I don't know. Fingering, I don't think I really like it. But I'm going to still do it anyways because I ain't no bitch. But I was, like, kind of moving. She was telling me to stop running. She was pulling me even closer. Going, going, going. And then, like, I was trying to top her. My drunk ass. I was trying to top her. I had, like, grabbed her neck and, like, flipped her over. And, like, I started going down on her. But she only let me eat her coochie for like 10 seconds before she grabbed my head and told me to get up because she didn't want me to eat her coochie. Girl. Anyways. But yeah, like, she kept eating me. Like, it was, it was so good. And then, like, was fingering me. And then she noticed that I was bleeding. Like, she saw blood. And she was like, is you a virgin? I was like, yeah. And that's when she was like, I made a mistake. I was like, <laughs> I was so, <laughs> it's not even funny. I was so hurt. I was like, huh? She was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have did that. I made a mistake. I love my girlfriend. You love your girl. <laughs> I was like, you love your girlfriend. Y'all, I started crying. I was just crying. I was just crying. I was on that floor crying, bruh. She was trying to pick me up. I was like, nah. Nah. I went and got a towel, wiped the blood off the floor. She was like, my girlfriend here. But I just wanted her to stay. Like, you just did all that. And, like, I was like, can you just stay a little bit? She was like, no, I got to go. My girlfriend here. Because, like, I don't know. You just did all of that. You just ate my coochie off the bone. And now you finna leave? What the fuck? Bitch, I love you. Like, stop playing with me. <laughs> I just play, y'all. Let me stop playing. But she was like, no, I got to go with my girlfriend here. And at this point, I'm fed up. I'm like, all right, bruh. Like, I put my clothes on, walked her out, basically told her to get the fuck on, like, get out. And I slammed the door and just, I don't know. I went up to my room and I was just, like, so sad after that. Like, I was like, for what? Why did that have to happen? Before that day, before all that even happened, I was, like, talking to myself. And I was like, I wonder what it feel like to lose my stuff. And I was already sad because I had felt like I'd be getting used for my body and all of that shit happened. And she left. I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. Um, The next, I was just on my bed crying and shit. I remember like calling, I had called somebody. Like the next day, people were telling me that I called them and I was crying and shit like that. But I didn't remember because I was drunk as fuck. I was just calling people and was crying, 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 crying. And when I woke up the next day, it was just some bullshit, bro. It was hella bullshit. I had told the person I was talking to what happened. They was like, <laughs> I had told the person I was talking to what happened. They was so pissed. It was like, you told me not to worry about that because y'all used to date and y'all just friends and y'all fucked. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. But... When I had told my sister, mind you, my sister was in the back seat before she had left with Jay. And she was like, Jay was taking fake shots. Like, you were more drunk than her. 
when you passed her the bottle, she wasn't really drinking nothing for real. Like, yes, yeah, she was drinking, but she wasn't drinking as much as you. Like, she had a fake put the bottle to her mouth, but she was low-key drinking her water. Why would my sister lie to me about something like that? So I'm over here mad as fuck. I'm like, I had got overly drunk and Shorty wasn't even drunk for real. Now, now it's giving that you did something. And then when I had told my friend T, who was also in the car, she was like how Jay had told her what happened and how Jay had said after that she felt like a nigga because she cared, but she didn't. Like when she just got up and left, she felt like a nigga. I was like, oh, you feel like, I was like, oh, word. I was just so blue, y'all. And then after that, like, Jay would hit me up trying to come. She literally tried to come over the next day, but not even to do nothing. She just wanted to chill. But it's like, before all that happened, when have we ever hung out for real? Like, it would just be me, T, and Jay. We was like a trio, always taking out together. We, Me and Jay never hung out separately for real. So it's like, after that, now all you want to do is chill. It, did, it didn't really resonate for real. She came over the next day trying to apologize. I was like, yeah, 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 whatever, cool. Talking about how it was a mistake, should never happen. We just homies, we gotta be cool. I mean, I mean that's cool and whatnot, but you should have thought about that before all of that happened. And then she was mad because I said, you can't come over if you're not finna eat my pussy, I'm sorry. She got mad because I said that. She was like, you don't even talk like that. Well, yes, I do, ho, just not to you. I was being so dead ass. Like, you cannot come over if you're not trying to eat this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if you had a girlfriend. You should have thought about that the first time. But, yeah, that's really it. Moral of the story, don't fuck your friends because we're not even friends no more. I had to cut her off. I had to, like, it wasn't, the vibe wasn't really the same after that. The vibe just was never the same after that. And it took me a little bit to cut her off. It took me like three months to do so. More of the story, don't have sexual relations with your friends. If y'all can't just keep it on that level without like no repercussions. But if y'all can do it, y'all can do it. Just don't be like me. But yeah, thanks for tuning into this story time. I'm finna hit y'all with another one. Thank y'all for all thousand y'all watching me. I love all y'all so bad. Like, comment, subscribe to keep to keep on with the journey, you know? Okay, bye.